Uyghur women have long been fetishized by the Chinese state. Just look at the overwhelming number of Uyghur female celebrities in comparison with the lack of Uyghur male representation. This is in direct contrast to the Uyghur communities themselves, where women and matriarchs are considered to be key cultural leaders and teachers. Women also play an important role in the society as a whole, with roles such as intellectuals, entrepreneurs, poets, and more. Uyghur women continue to face gender-based violence in the CCP's concentration camps. There have been multiple reports of sexual violence and forced sterilization from camp survivors. There have also been reports of China advertising halal human hair in Middle Eastern beauty markets, which are likely taken by shaving the heads of Uyghur women camp victims. Uyghur women are also forced to sleep with male Han Chinese state cadres, with the CCP's double relatives program. Moreover, Uyghur women are forced into marrying Han Chinese men. Despite undergoing immense trauma at the hands of the CCP, Uyghur women have remained at the forefront of the fight for truth. Many survivors such as Zumret Dawood, Tursunai Zayudun, and Miracle Tursun have testified before various world powers in order to advocate for a greater global response to the Uyghur genocide. As detailed in the recent BBC report, these women have spoken of their horrific experiences. After escaping from the regime, they provided insight to what is happening inside of these camps. In reaction to the power of these testimonies, the CCP has been specifically targeting these survivors through various smear campaigns, many of which resort to Islamophobic and misogynistic tropes to discredit the integrity of these women. The CCP has also threatened the safety of these women's relatives in East Turkestan, holding their family hostage to attempt to control their silence. Despite intensified attacks, these women have remained resilient by not backing down in their efforts. The Uyghur community have rallied support for the women and we invite our allies to do the same. Remember to uplift and respect the voices of Uyghur women center the stories of survivors and defend their right to dignity.